Testing, one, two, three, testing. Testing, one, two, three. One, two, three, testing.
Testing, testing. Oh, welcome, welcome to tonight's basketball game. The National Christian College Athletic Association is committed to the true spirit of competition and upholding the four core values of the game plan for life. Love, integrity, faith, and excellence. We ask that each participant, official, and spectator join us in exhibiting these Christ-like characteristics and help create a positive environment in which to enjoy today's competition. Please stand and join us as Hillary leads us in the national as Rev leads us in the national and of um, national and prayer. Um, will you bow your heads with me as we pray? Um, dear God, I want to thank you for this time. I want to thank you that Grace is able to make it here safe. Ask that you bless this game and that no one gets hurt. And we love you and we praise you. And in Jesus' name, Amen. Please remain standing as we have the national anthem. Oh, say, can you see by the night early light was so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the pit, world has fly O'er the ramparts we watch Were so gallantly streaming And the rockets red glare The bombs bursting in air That our flag was still here. Oh, say the star spangled banner and wave for the land and of the free and the home of the free. as we introduce the away team, Grace Bible College. At guard, he's a sophomore, Matt Jensen. At forward, Jared Bradford. At guard, Travis Raven. At forward, Cameron Kramer. And at center, Luke Mackey. Josiah, what's going on? Okay. He's playing a song. All of them. Now stand up and put your hands for your Great Lakes Christian College Crusaders. At goal, he's a freshman. Dana Thomas. Oh, this is good. At center, he's a junior, Jimmy Harvey. At, at forward, he's a freshman, Sean Gordon. At center, he's a sophomore, Vidal Jackson. And at guard, he's a freshman, Sean. Rutledge! Two stars for Grace.
Hello everyone and welcome to the Doty Center, home of Great Lakes Christian College. Tonight, the Lakes playing host to conference rival, Grace Bible College. We are live in courtside. I'm Colton Wesley. I'm here with Jonathan Crutcher and we have the tip and are ready to go here at the Doty Center. All right, Rev. The Lakes won this game last year. They lost earlier this season by 25 to these guys. What do the Lakes need to do to get off to a good start and win this game tonight? They got to play good defense. They got to box out. They have to rebound. They have to play hard and do the right things. And so far, you force a tough shot, and you just have to do small things well and play smart and not settle for three. Dana Thomas, Dana Thomas with the bucket, and the Lakes are up early here, two to nothing. And, and the key to this game will be not settling and playing aggressive defense. And um, Grace Bible College without Bernard Smith today, probably the leading candidate to win freshman of the year. Solid player. And then we have a strum underneath the basket. Jimbo Harvey going up for it with Luke McKeon. And Great Lakes win the jump ball. Possession favors the home side. It's a great start for the Lakes. Now switch to possession. Switch to possession. Get, switch to possession. This is Rutledge. Gives it to Sean Colton. Thomas, Rutledge, Colton, Harvey, and Jackson starting for the Lakes tonight. Dana Thomas inside, outside. This is Rutledge again, 22 to shoot. And it's all about doing the small things well, running the offense, getting open looks. Thomas, inside, Harvey, down low, all That's the way not. across. Colton puts up three, air balls it long, rebound saved by Harvey, but it'll eventually go out of bounds. And that wasn't even close, not what you really want there. Sean, not the best three-point shooter, as we know, as we've noted. Inside out is the way to go for them, for Sean Colton. He's a better midway shooter than he is a three-point shooter, but he's also a rhythm shooter. Inside, this is Luke McKeon. Kicks it all the way back out. Jared Bradford working on Sean, Col or Sean Rutledge. That's going to be a great matchup all day. Three ball, no good off the back rim. Rebound bounces all the way out to Thomas in the corner. That's going to be a great matchup all night. Sean Rutledge versus Jared Bradford, two guys who run the point. Similar size, similar skill set. They're both going to try to dish the ball a lot. It's going to be great to watch those two go at it tonight. And, and look for Sean really to try to disrupt Jared. Don't let Jared get comfortable because that's the biggest thing for Jared Bradford. He's used to getting comfortable, so you have to get in him and force him to play uncomfortable. He's a really smart basketball player. Harvey from the free throw line knocks it down, and the two Lakes are up four. For Jimmy Harvey. And J Jimmy Harvey looks the best in warm-ups than he's looked in a long time. And he, he's been knocking down, and Jared Bradford Long three. deep three and knocks, knocks it, down. it down. Great shot from Bradford. Not known as much for his outside shot as he is for his assist numbers. This is Dana Thomas, gives it to Colton. Down low, Jackson in the corner, puts up a three of his own, knocks it down! Three points, One three deserves another, I guess. 17 and 30 to go here in the first lakes, up seven to three. Bradford, kick out. Trying to drive, this is Matt Jensen, kick out again. Long two, Cameron Kramer, it's good. And so far, I mean. Team's trading buckets. Rutledge over the timeline. Kick out. Back to Rutledge, he's wide open for three, puts it up, no good off the front rim. Short off the front of the rim, Cameron Kramer with the rebound. And a whistle down low. And we have our first timeout. Grace calling a timeout early, the Lakes out in front. Great start for Great Lakes so far. We got a 30-second 30 30 time timeout for, for Grace. And some things right now, apparently Gary doesn't like. Gary very rarely uses a lot of timeouts, so if he's calling a timeout this early in the game, there's an immediate adjustment that he sees that he wants to make. And I think one of the things that I see is that Great Lakes is overloading one side on the zone. So look for Grace to probably try to overload it to one side because Great Lakes is overloading excessively on the other side. We shall see what happens. Checking into the game for Luke McCain is Br um, Brad Rosenwig, I believe is how you say his name. Great Lakes has no substitution. 7-5, 17 on nine to go. This is into Bradford who is running the point. Passes into Travis Rader. Inside, down low. This is Kramer goes up and knocks it down. Not a good matchup inside. Dana Thomas defending there. That's this is Rutledge. 7-7. Seven, seven. Rutledge gives it to Thomas, who tries to get inside. Gives it to Colton. Thomas 
inside. Great feed to Harvey who knocks it down. Jumbo with four, and the Lakes are up 9 7, 16 and, and 40 to go in the first. What, oh, Bradford wow. for a quick three. No good off the back rim. Rebound, Vidal Jackson. That's going to be big, keeping Grace from getting that second opportunity. And, and Great Lakes has some rebounders now. Vidal Jackson, more athletic than we give him credit for. Harvey one almost of our walks. Players and Harvey almost walked there, gives it back out to Jackson. Walked, this is called. His pivot foot. All the way into the corner, wanted uh, Rutledge. <laughs> Threw it a little high. And it's a turnover. So Grace will have the ball, trailing 9 7, 16, and 19 to go here in the first. Kyle Wright checking into the game for Jared Bradford. I guess uh, Gary Bradley didn't like all those deep threes Jared was taking. Not the first one down, though. Driving, kick out, Raider, Rosenzweig. Back around to Jensen, 20 to shoot. Into the corner, Raider. Under pressure, gives it to Jensen. Student section getting really loud in here. Rosenzweig for three. No good off the front rim, tipped up in the air. Rebound, Vidal Jackson, that's a big board. Coming the other way now, Sean Colton. And so far, Great Lakes looking really good today. Into the corner, Rutledge tries to drive. Puts up a mid-range two, knocks it two down. Great drive Sean and pull Rutledge. from Rutledge. And the Lakes are up four, Vidal 15 Jackson and 40 to go in the first. Up there, saw that he had the baseline. Vidal makes a great, I mean, Sean makes a great move inside the baseline and knocks down the shot. Kyle Wright tries to drive the baseline and we have a whistle. I think we got Matt Jensen over the baseline. Foul on number 10, Dana Thomas. All right, that's his first. It will be his first, the team's first, and the first foul of this game. Foul on 10. This is his right. First, team first. Picks up his dribble. Inside, that's almost stolen, but we have a foul. They're going to get Jimmy Harvey. They're going to get him for a reach on uh, on Rosenzweig. It was a his good, first, it's a good effort, second. but ultimately got in there just a bit too early. Good anticipation. Just was unable to finish the play. We have Jared Bradford checking into the game and BJ Van Lu checking into the game. Kyle Wright and Travis Rader both check out for the Tigers. The Lakes still yet to make a change. This is if Bradford over the timeline. Don't fix it. Nope. This is Jensen. Down low, inside, Bradford in the key, kicks it all the way back, working it around. Nice work to Jensen for three, no good off the back rim. Long rebound, jump, bounces out to Cameron Kramer. Into the corner, Rosenzweig. Bradford still working around the perimeter. Grace moving the ball around the perimeter quickly. Inside, long two from Kramer, no good. Long rebound, tipped up. Be picked up by Rosenzweig, who resets the play and gives it back to Matt Jensen. And one of the things Grace will not do, they will not rush. They are going to get good looks. So Great Lakes needs to get the rebound to eliminate them getting better shots. You have to make them go one shot and out. That's very important. Kramer turns on Jackson, goes up, knocks it down, and one. Kramer's got six, and that foul is going to be on Jackson. And all of a sudden, the Lakes have put three fouls on the board. Foul on number 23. One this of the first. things to look, look to today, third. as I All said, Bernard back. Smith, who's probably their best low post player, is not playing. However, what that means is that you will get a steady balance of Cameron Kramer today. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we thought we were going to see a lot of Bernard Smith tonight. He averages about 14 points a game, shoots about 69% from the floor, eight boards a game. And, He's and, a great player for them. And as we know, one thing about Grace, you know, having the option of Bernard Smith or Cameron Kramer is not a bad thing. As we no, know, it's not. last year at regionals, Cameron Kramer put on a show the last two games, averaging about 25 and like 15 with six assists. Inside. So he's more than capable of doing that. Harvey drives, kick out. Tommy Bentley, who just checked in for three, yes! Three point for Tommy Bentley. Jimmy Knocks Harvey sees Tommy there. Tommy, that is a three. Tommy shot really well last game. That ball lost, picked up by Jared Bradford. 24 to shoot, it's really loud in here. If you can't tell, the Pierce Field pit on its feet early. Inside, Kramer, kick out. Long two from BJ Van Lu leaning in, he knocks it down. That's his I, first bucket of the I game. I think Kramer passed that. Vidal got a hand on it. It just happened to fall straight to Van Lu, unfortunately. Inside the Bentley, almost can't control it, gets it. Throws it all the way back out to Colton. They'll reset, 23 on the clock. Colton picks up a screen, mid-range jumper, no good off the back rim. Rebound picked up by Rosenzweig coming the other way. Lakes up 14-12, 13-45 to go in the first. This is Van Lu, loses the ball, coming the other way, it's Rutledge. Lakes in a five on three, dishes inside to Colton, who can't control it, picks it up, kicks it out. Bentley steps in, and he walked. He hesitated and took that little half step. 
He should have made the extra pass to Sean there, but instead of making an extra pass, he walked, and unfortunately it's a turnover. What's even more unfortunate is that he knocked the shot down. I don't think Great Lakes can complain too loudly right now. They lead Grace 14 to 12, 13, 35 to go in the first. Sam Anderson and David Parks checking into the game for the first time, replacing Vidal Jackson and Jimmy Harvey. So the Lakes giving their, giving their bigs a rest. This is Jared Bradford on the ball for the Tigers. Gives it to Jensen, back to Bradford. Van Loo for three, no good off the front rim. Uncontested rebound for Kramer, but he misses the putback and the board is picked up by Bentley. Gives it to Parks, ahead to Rutledge, Lakes on the run, over the timeline. Rutledge holds up the play now, 30 to shoot. Rutledge working on Jensen, gonna drive, kicks to Anderson. Anderson tries to kick it out, it's knocked away, but picked up by Colton all the way across Rutledge. Gets a step, drives, puts up a tough look, no good, but he's going to the free throw line. And that's a good take right there by Sean. On and they're going to get B.J. Van Lu. That's his first, team's first for Grace. Shooting two. And, and so far, Sean's able to attack that baseline and use his quickness to get around people. And so he's a pretty good free throw shooter, so let's see. Knocks Sean, the first one down. Sean Rutledge came into, this, came into this game shooting about 76, 77 percent from the free throw line. Knocks down the first, his third point of the night. And as you see, now Grace going with a bigger lineup. Great Lakes goes small. To combat Great Lakes going small, Grace goes bigger. Second free throw for Rutledge is good. The Grace Tigers, number three in Division II of the National Christian College Athletic Association. And 6-0 in conference so far this season, but the Lakes lead them early, 16-12, under 13 to go in the first. This is Raider who just checked back in. Rosenzweig, down low. Kramer, kick out. Bradford for three in the corner, rims out, and the putback is good from Rosenzweig. 6-6 six, six senior forward with the putback, and it's a two-point game once again. This is Rutledge. And that's just too easy. And once again, as I said, Grace has four bigs out there. Normally, you wouldn't consider those guys bigs. They probably would consider Travis Rader a wing and not a big. Bentley, free throw line, yes. Two points, but Tommy Continue, partner. Bentley. They would probably consider Travis Rader a wing and not a big, but he's he's big. I mean, Great Lakes doesn't have a lot of big people, and Brad Rosenwig just hits a three. That was a great look from Rosenzweig, really. And we have a whistle and a timeout. So John Piercefield wants to give his guys a break. 12 and 13 to go here in the first. Lakes leading 18-17. Can't complain about the start to this one. So far, so great start for Great Lakes. Defensively, you have to do some things better. Grace able to overweight the ball still and get open looks. And as I said, Great Lakes is overloading one side of the court. So Grace can batch that by overloading the other side of the court and are getting open looks. Here on this last play, we just had a miscommunication between Sean, between both Sean's, actually, and they left Brad Rosenwig wide open. And uh, apparently Great Lakes has a mascot today. Uh, I guess we'll call him the Blue Man. Well, that's Blue down there, making his first appearance for the Lakes at a basketball game this semester. And we got Fidel Jackson and Jimmy Harvey checking back in immediately. And so then you have Sean Colton and Sam Anderson out. So Rutledge, Harvey, Parks, Bentley, and Jackson on the floor for the Lakes. Parks long ball all the way across to Jackson who hauls that in. Gives it to Rutledge, top of the key. Rutledge takes a step inside, batted up in the air, knocked away. Rosenzweig coming the other way. Long ball ahead to Travis Rader who goes up and he misses, but there's going to be a foul. And, and that's unfortunate right there because the pass was meant for Vidal Jackson. Jimmy Harvey chips it in the air. Follow number 44. The pass push. wasn't meant for Jimmy Harvey. Sean Rutledge will be whistled for that, his first. Team's that was, fourth. That was a really good lead by Sean. Actually, the devil would have came open off the screen. Raider misses the first. <laughs> no, the lakes, the lakes trying to stretch it on this on on the offensive end, trying to create opportunities by crossing cross court. Second free throw from Raider is good. And Grace. So no, the, the idea was good. The execution wasn't. Yes. And Grace, a very fundamental team. They won't miss a lot of free throws. Colton Parks, open look, baseline three, no good off the front rim. Rebound knocked out of bounds off of Grace. That's staying down here. Out of bounds. Great and Jimmy basketball. Harvey just trying to get in on the rebound there, was able to force the ball, push the ball out of bounds. Bentley. Long inbound out to Parks. Parks has been struggling from outside, looking to find his shot. Hopefully he finds it tonight. Colton, Jackson. Back to Sean Colton, inside, Bentley at the free throw line, kick out, Jackson puts up a contested three, no good, 
Rebound, it's gonna be tipped off of Rosenzweig out over the baseline and the Lakes will keep it down here. Great Lakes basketball! 11.31 to go here in the first. Bentley will play this in from the baseline. Great Lakes has to be happy to see this. Cameron Kramer's coming out. Inside to Jackson, we have a tie up down low and that's stolen coming the other way is BJ Van Lu. This is Raider inside to Rosenzweig, gives it back to Bradford. Raider, we're tied to 18. Raider back out to Bradford, pumps on the three, tries to drive, kick out Raider. Back Great, to Rosenzweig. Great Jensen Lakes in the not corner. Doing a good job of staying down as they're coming out. They're coming out quickly. Rosenzweig all the way across. Down. Raider tries to drive the baseline, goes up, no good. Rebound tipped all the way out, picked up by Jensen, and the Tigers will reset. And so far, Great Lakes not doing a good job rebounding, and that's something they have to do better if they're going to win this game. Raider, Jensen. Inside Van Lu. Great pressure defense from the Lakes. Not letting him have an easy look. Oh, there it is. Raider on the other end for three. Air balls it long. Picked up by Bentley. Long ball ahead of Vidal Jackson. He's going to go up and he's going to knock it down. Two points for Vidal Jackson. Jackson's got five. That's a turn of events for the Lakes. Great pressure defense forcing, uh, forcing the miss. They get the board. Quick transition and a bucket. And the Lakes find themselves in front now. And Vidal able to run out there, and Great Lakes using some of that speed to their advantage right Inside now. of Rosenzweig, that's knocked away by Harvey. We have a foul. But that's a great transition for Great Lakes. Grace had an opportunity to score there. They didn't, so they fail in their opportunity to take the lead. Great Lakes, on the foul other hand, they take Jimmy that Harvey. opportunity, take it down to the other end, the and they score to take the lead. And right there, not a good foul for Jimmy Harvey. 10-22 remaining to half. Picks up a second. Knows they need him. Cannot take that chance right there. Rosenberg makes the first. We got a sub. We got Corey Stratton checking in for David Parks. Now in comes Corey Stratton and Sean Rutledge. So, Stratton, Jackson, Bentley, Rutledge. Rutledge checking in for Jimmy Harvey. And clock malfunction. Forgot to put the one punt up there for the free throw. Second free throw from Rosenzweig is no good. Rebound, Vidal Jackson. So Rutledge, Jackson, Stratton, Colton, Bentley on the floor for the Lakes. Rutledge with the ball, gives it to Jackson. Bentley in the corner. Inside, open look for Colton. Turnaround jumper, knocks it down. Six different Lakes have scored tonight. Lakes up by three halfway through the first Great half. Great Lakes moving the ball really well right Inside now. Inside Rosenzweig, back out. Jensen for three, contested look, knocks it down. We're tied again. Buckle in, folks. This could be a good one. We're halfway through the first. We're tied at 22. Rutledge. Jackson down low. Gets it back to Colton. Now this is Rutledge in the high post. Feeds inside to Jackson, who spins, and we have a whistle. That's going to be on B.J. Van Lu. And we get the foul there, and Fidel Jackson, one really good shooter, but he also has post moves. And so Grace. it's going to be the second on Van Lu, the 6'7 seven junior. Second. And so Fidel Jackson, they're saying he wasn't shooting. So out of bounds. So they will inbound from the baseline, Tommy Bentley. Fidel did his best to try to save it. Luke McCain, Luke McCain is going to check in for B.J. Van Lu, I'm sure. Yep, B.J. Van Lu check in. Bentley long inbound to Stratton. This is Sean Colton who couldn't corral it and the sideline. So 9.38 to go here in the first, 2.22. Over the timeline. This is right inside. Back out to right, knocked away. Oh, they're gonna get Jackson. That'll be his second. And that's his second. And once again, Great Lakes can't afford people to get in foul trouble. That's well, two on 6'5", Vidal Jackson. And that's two on 6'4", Jimmy six. Harvey. And so now Vidal's going to have to come out for David Parks. And Great Lakes now significantly is losing the rebounding battle. Inside, Rosenzweig airballs it. That's going to bounce all the way out to Rutledge. Colton going to try to drive. Going to go up. Kicks it to Stratton, who puts it up. Gets it blocked. McKeon coming the other way. Jensen brings it up the floor. Raider tries to drive, kicks it to Rosen's way. That's turned over. Rutledge, he's in a foot race. Can he get there all the way? He can. Doesn't knock it down, but he gets the he gets the free throws. And Sean, not able to knock down the shot, was able to control his body. Got a good layup and just didn't make it. This first. 
So now Rutledge will go to the free throw line to shoot two. And as we said, he's a good free throw shooter. 15 of 19 on the year. First one is in and out. Rutledge leads this team with about 3.3 assists per game. He runs the point, it's what he does best. Fundamentally sound player and a good shooter. Second free throw drops. Three for four from the line tonight is Rutledge. 23-22, Lakes in front, nine minutes to go in the first. Inside, the ball's knocked away and will go out over the baseline. It will be Grace Ball. Chloe Stratton playing solid defense there. Stratton, Parks, Bentley, Rutledge, Carlton on the floor for Great Lakes. Neither of the bigs, Jackson or Harvey, in the game. Each with two fouls, that ball is inbounded. Colton knocks it away, and that'll be inbounded again. And you have to play aggressive defense, get, try to get the ball put the way, do things like that, and that's what Great Lakes is doing. You Backing down, and that's stolen. Big. David Parks tips it away to Sean Rutledge. Rutledge brings it up. Floater from the free throw line, no good off the back rim. Not a bad look there, it was open. Now Rutledge getting all up in Luke McKeon's face. To try to, stop, uh, to try to stop him from bringing it forward. Grace ball, Bradford drives, no look. Kicks it out, two from the baseline, no good. Rebound McKeon, the initial shot by Kramer. Jensen on the ball right now. That was Rosenzweig on the miss earlier. Inside ball to Luke McKeon and he knocks it down. The Lakes really need to take advantage of the transition bucket. And he Rosenzweig loses the ball. Or it wasn't a miss, rather, it was a steal. And Rosenzweig he's loses just the ball. Taller than everyone else. Luke on that play. That's true. But on the play I mean, on the play before, Rosenzweig loses the ball. The Lakes need to find a way to turn that into points. This is Bentley from the baseline. Air balls it long. No good to Luke McKeon. Yeah, that was an opportunity that the Lakes had and they didn't convert. And that's another one they had didn't convert. They've got to find a way to get those buckets to fall. This is Jensen. Bradford pulls up for three. Got it. Biggest lead of the game for Grace. And you have to know what Jared Bradford is. 27, 23, 7, and 43 to go in the first, and we have a timeout. Time out. Great Lakes Christian College. So, Great Lakes so far, I mean, right now it's important that they just keep the game close. You're losing your two big men, and I think with 7.43 to go in the next couple of minutes, John Pearson's going to have to put Vidal and Jimmy Harvey back out there if this team can't stop the tide and get rebounds and force tough shots. He's not going to have a choice. What do you think, partner? I think that you're right. I think that um, I think you're going to have to get the big guys involved more. You can't play scared at this point. This team is big. This team are bigger than you are. You need to find a way to get some presence in the paint. They were getting the rebounds earlier. They were getting the tip-ins, the putbacks, etc. You bring those guys out, you're not going to get those. That's just the way it is. You need to have that interior presence if you're going to get things done against a good, a good, long team like Grace. Especially against Grace. They're going to work hard. They're going to do things. They're going to do it the right way. They're a good team, and the only way you can beat a good team is by playing well yourself. So the Lakes call timeout. Grace up 27-23 to 23 with 7.43 left in the first. So... Great Lakes could really use a bucket right here. None, neither of the bigs back in. The, neither of the bigs are back in yet for the Lakes. Same lineup as before. And as I said, he'd probably give him a couple more minutes and see if this lineup can start to tie. Anderson. Well, Sam Anderson did Rutledge. check in for Tommy Bentley. That's true. Rutledge kick underneath to Anderson. He's going to go up and he's going to get fouled. He'll go to the free throw line. Okay. And Sam Anderson. We've talked about him quite a bit. He's a good athlete. He's an intelligent player. But something that he's really done well is shoot is shoot free throws. He's eight for ten on the season so far. And Sam Sam's just gonna take his time, be smart, and look to shoot the free throws. And so here he goes. First one's good. Anderson knocks down the first, his first point of the game. And these points are huge right now. Yep. Kudos to Sean Willis for trusting Sam Anderson, who's a smaller big to be able to go up strong and enforce contact or try to make the shot. Second free throw for Anderson is also good. And, you can tell he's been working on those. Bradford brings it up over the timeline, lakes down two. Bradford. Great gives Lake it to switching Jensen. to a man, it looks like. Bradford again. Jensen still working the perimeter. Jensen gets around Anderson, kick out. Into the corner now. This is Bradford. Lakes Nation really loud in here. This is Jensen. 
Working on Stratton, drives, feeds underneath. And Cameron Kramer gets above the rim and puts it in. Nine points for Kramer, Lakes down nine. Rutledge tries to drive, gets inside off the glass, no good. That was that flattened out. Make, not, not a bad shot. He got a great step, he just didn't it. shoot it well. Bradford going the other way, he misses on his attempt. Rebound picked up by McKeon and he puts it back. McKeon's first points of the game, Lakes down six. No, that's four for McKeon. Correction, that's four for McKeon. Rutledge inside, layup no good. He's trying to do too much. Coming the other way now, this is Bradford. Bradford pulls up, almost walks, gives it to Jensen. The bigs now down at the scorer's table. Now it's poked out of the, out of the hands of Cameron Kramer by David Parks. It's the second steal of the night. Colton, kick out. Anderson back to Parks. Lakes would love to get something out of this possession. Down six, feeds into Strat, knocked away. Ball loose on the ground. To be picked up by Bradford in the corner. They're coming the other way. Six and a quarter to go in the first. Sean Rutledge getting good looks, just not making them. Bradford. Jensen, Kramer, right, back to Kramer, inside to McKeon, being defended by Anderson, he spins away from Anderson, the bucket's no good, the rebound by Wright, he can't put it back, and now we have a whistle. And now it's basically a full lineup change for Great Lakes. The only one who stays Everyone out there is Sean, Sean Colton. Colton. So 5.55 to go here in the first. Lakes down 31-25. Grace will inbound from the baseline. On the floor now for Great Lakes. Jackson, Harvey, Thomas, Bentley, Colton. So the bigs back in. Let's see what they can do for six minutes here before halftime. Bradford down low, McKee, and it's knocked away by Colton. Oh, they're going to get him. I don't know about that one. We're going to have to look at that one again. I don't know about that one. I, I don't. I mean, this it looked like good defense to me. Seven. Luke McKee has stepped to the line for the one and one. I'm not sure what the foul was there. So five and 51 to go here in the first. On the line to shoot two is Luke McKeon. The 6'9 junior center misses the first. Correction, it was a one and one. It wasn't a shooting foul, my bad. That's a seventh on Great Lakes. So coming the other way now, Jackson gives it to Thomas. So now Dana's running the point. Gives it to Harvey. Harvey. Hand off to Jackson. Jackson tries to drive, goes up. No good off the back rim. Uncontested rebound for the Tigers coming the other way now. This is Caleb Yuri who's checked in for the first time. Gives it to Jared Bradford, back to Yuri. Inside to Kramer, drives, no good. Rebound gets his own rebound, no good. Now we have another whistle underneath. I think it's gonna be on Harvey, that'd be three. And that's not far, smart for Jimmy Harvey right Follow there. 21, Jimmy Harvey. That's the third that's on third. Jimbo. Team A. It's not a smart foul right there for Jimmy, so now David Parks is going to have to come back in for Jimmy Harvey, and Gray Lakes does not have a lot of size. Cameron Kramer at the line to shoot two. Cameron Kramer knocks down the first. Ten points for him in this first half. Lakes down seven. Ten points, six rebounds for him in this first half so far. He's basically taking on the Bernard Smith role. Second free throw is good. Kramer has 11. Eight point game. Thomas over the free throw, or over the timeline rather. Eight point game. Gives it to Jackson. Bentley, Colton, step back, long two. That wasn't the best of looks. No good, rebound coming the other way now, Caleb Yeary. Not a good look, not good offense. Yeary to Bradford, back to Yeary. This is right, inside to McKeon. Kick out to Kramer, who gives it back to Yeary. They'll reset 20 to shoot. Yeary, under some pressure, gives it up right, wide open, but he doesn't take it. Feeds inside to McKeon instead, back to right, right, inside. That's knocked up in the air by Jackson. Loose ball and a turnover on the baseline. Lakes ball. Great defense right there by Vidal Jackson. Good hustle. Come on, Jackson and Brad, Brad Rosenwick checking into the game for Luke McKeon and Kyle Wright. This is Colton now. 4.34 to go here in the first. Great Lakes are able to stop it from being a double-digit lead. So they need to score here, so they're out. Thomas almost loses the ball, instead picks it up, goes inside off the glass. Okay, 
I mean, Thomas is an aggressive player. He's had some turnover trouble this year, but he did a good job right there. Of a blocking play that turned into a bucket. Exactly. He's an effort player. He's able to do stuff like that. Inside, great spin by Kramer to get around David Parks, and he knocks it down. Great move by Cameron Kramer. There. As we said, he's capable of doing that. Jackson pulls up for three. No good off the back rim. Rebound drops and almost dropped into the bucket. The rebound coming the other way. Long ball ahead to Kramer, who puts it up and knocks it in. It's a 10-point game now. And John Piercefield wants to call timeout. timeout, Great Lakes Christian College. Man, that is what you didn't want. 342 to go into half. It's a 10 point lead. And Great Lakes at this point just trying to get into the half, not down by double digits. Great Lakes has to do a better job of moving the ball and getting better shots. Sean Woodless was able to get to the rim, but he's not the tallest, so his shots aren't falling. So he's got to do a better job of creating and looking to see what he can get. And so, with 3.42 to go in the half, 37 to 27. Great Lakes has possession. Hopefully they're able to get a good look here because they need one. A 13 to four run for the Tigers. It was 23 to 24. And that's just a product of Grace doesn't push the ball. They run a well-ordered offense, very fundamental, very smart. This is Thomas, inbound to Colton, loses the ball, gives it to Vidal Jackson, who puts it in. Vidal Jackson. And great look right there by Sean Colton. This is Bradford, swinging it around, inside. Kramer puts it up, no good, loose ball, tipped around. He'll be picked up by Colton, it's a three on one. Long ball hit to Bentley, who saves it and puts it in. Tommy. Great save by Tommy Bentley. So the Lakes, after going, after. After the Tigers go on a 13 to four run. They go on a quick four run. And, and cut the lead to six, that's a great response. Can they keep it up? Kramer. Gives it to Yuri. This is Carly and Jackson now. Inside, back out to Bradford for three, no good. Long rebound picked up by Rosenzweig. Gives it to Bradford. Bradford working on Thomas, gets inside, that's up in the air, knocked around. Yuri picks it up. This is back to Jackson. In and out. Back to Yuri. 2.25 left in the half. 30 to shoot. Yuri picks it up. Gives it to Jackson. Inside. Kramer. Rosenzweig working on Thomas. Back to Kramer. Three for Jackson. No good. Bricked it off the back rim. Rebound hits the floor. Picked up by Bradford. Gives it to Jackson. Great Lakes has to get a rebound. They're playing good defense. That ball hit the ground. Get that ball hit the, hit, hit the court. You can't let that happen. Inside, Rosenzweig working on Parks, kick out, Jackson, Bradford, great defense on the perimeter for the Lakes. Bradford goes inside, gives it to Rosenzweig, gets above the rim, and puts it in. He's got seven. And one of the things about Jared Bradford that you have to like for being so little, he's able to take the contact and stay under control and make good passes like that. Gives it to, Bentley gives it to Parks. Thomas, Lakes down eight, under 100 seconds left in this first half. That was an extended possession for Grace. Not bad defense, just bad boards. It's true. Jackson. To Parks again, five to shoot now. Parks puts it on the floor, three to shoot. Under pressure, two inside, and we have a whistle, and that bailed the Lakes out right there. The Lakes just got absolutely bailed out right there. The shot clock was running down. No one on the floor had any idea of it. 32. But a foul on Brad Rosenzweig will instead give the Lakes a fresh shot clock. That's the fifth on Grace, so nobody's going to the line just yet. Colton will inbound from the baseline. Danny Buigar, Nathan Shelton, Corey Stratton, and Vidal Jackson in on this possession for Great Lakes. And Great Lakes going really small. Wonder why. Jackson now with the ball, gives it to Colton. This is Stratton. Lake's content to work well around the perimeter right now. Stratton into the corner. Jackson drives the baseline, puts it up. No good. Can he get his own board balls on the ground? And nice effort play by Danny Bligar. He almost got the steal and said it bounces off of him. He dove into the pile and almost picked up the ball. And that's the one thing Dino does well. It's not a foul. He made a good effort play and almost came up with the ball. Less than a minute to go here in the first. Lake's down 39-31. This is Bradford. He gives it to Yuri. 
Grace have the option to go two for one if they try. Expect them to go two for one. Inside, Bradford almost loses it, throws it out of bounds off of Buigar. Buigar just not aware of what was going on around him right there. It bounces off of him and out over the baseline, and Grace will keep possession. Carly and Jackson will inbound from the baseline. Bradford wide open, look at three, and he long balled it. Rebound Jackson. Gives it to Yuri, who's being defended by Shelton. Inside, that's knocked away. Great job by Colton, but Yuri picks up the loose ball. Yuri holds it up. Shelton defending. Inside, Kramer loses the ball. Great steal by Sean Colton. He's coming the other way. Shot clock is dead. Long ball ahead to to Vidal Jackson who saves it, knocks it in, goes underneath the basket and puts it back. Vidal Jackson's got nine. That's a huge play for Great Shot Lakes. clock is dead, Lakes are up six. Bradford being defended by Buigar. Tries to go inside, up, off the back rim, no good rebound, is loose, kicked out to Bradford who goes all the way in, kicks it off the glass and in, and that'll take us to halftime. Danny Buigar was on the floor, was unhappy about something, but that will take us to halftime. 41-33. Referee's still settling something down there. John Piercefield not happy about something. But it doesn't appear to matter. So, halftime. And that's not a half you can complain about if you're Great Lakes. Your bigs got into a little bit of foul trouble. You trail at 41-33 at halftime. Really good half for Great Lakes. They're still in this thing. A second half surge will put them right back in front. All right, we're going to take a little break, and we will be right back. Halftime score, 41-33. Grace leading Great Lakes. We'll be back with the second half, some analysis, and some numbers. This is the Great Lakes Christian College Radio Network. All right, all right, everybody look here. We're about to do a game of thunder. 10 people that's gonna come to the court and we're gonna shoot from the three point line, right, Allie? Allie, we're shooting from the three point line. 10 people I'm gonna pull down here to shoot from the three point line and you're gonna win a Great Lakes warm up, Crusader warm up. Wow, that is so nice. All right, is there anybody that wants to come down here and play? Anybody? 10 people wanna shoot? I'm just start picking them. Okay, you two. Two people wanna shoot? Hey, I gotta pick y'all. Go sit down. Go sit down. Come on. Yes, yes, come on. Who else? I'm just I'm about to just start picking people. Savon, come on. I need to just start picking people. Sarah. Come on. Ten people. No. Come on, everybody. Anybody? Anybody? Come on. Which one? I know, I know he was on the basketball team. I can't pick him. He's on the Matter of fact, come on. I want to see you lose. Come on. Guys are shooting from the three-point line, girls from the free throw line. Oh, if you want to shoot from the three-point line, you can. Let's line it up, let's line it up, let's line it up. Thunder. Yes. You can start the free throw line. 
they make it nice. Aren't you ready? Three, two, one, go. Go ahead, ladies. We got these two left. These are the two remaining. You think you're gonna beat them? Think you're gonna beat them? Alrighty. Set, go. And we have our winner.
Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Doty Center. The Lakes trailing Grace Bible College 41-33 to as we get this second half underway. The Lakes played well in the first half, shot about 50% from the floor. Starting this second half with the same guys who started the game, Colton, Rutledge, Jackson, Harvey, and Thomas. Quick bucket from Luke McKeon, and we're underway. What would you see in the first half, Rev, that uh, Great Lakes need to continue if they want to win this game? They have to rebound. I mean, that's the biggest thing. You must rebound. Inside. Another bucket. That one's for Jared Bradford. And Grace open up a 12-point lead. That's their biggest lead of the game so far. This is Colton. Gives it to Thomas. Top of the key gives it to Rutledge. Rutledge wraps around, feeds inside. Nice feed to Jackson who knocks it down. Great feed right there by Sean Rutledge. Bradford gives it to Jensen. Lost the ball. Good, good job by Harvey to knock it away. Loose ball is picked up, fed inside to Kramer, who knocks it down. Cameron Kramer, obviously the leading story and scorer in that first half. He had 15 points and a half, 17 now with that. And on the other end, Jimmy Harvey puts one in. And now we have a whistle. Timeout, Grace. So, timeout, Grace. Grace jump out and score a quick time. couple of buckets. Great Lakes get inside and score a couple of their own. And 80 seconds into the second half, Grace called timeout. What's the key to slowing down Cameron Kramer in the second half? You gotta put a body on him. You gotta play smart. Cameron Kramer's a very smart player. He doesn't mind contact, but he, he's very good with controlling his body. And so you have to make him uncomfortable. You have to bump him without fouling. You have to move him from his area. And then from there, you have to make him take contested shots and take away his passing lanes. If you don't do that, Cameron Kramer has the ability to beat you so many different ways, as we learned last year at Regionals. He not only just beat Kuiper by scoring, he beat them with his passing, he beat them with his rebounding. He's a great player that doesn't get enough credit in our region. Inbound to Jared Bradford. Grace up 10. This is Jensen who tries to drive. Spins away, dribbles off his foot, and out of bounds. The Lakes will get a free takeaway. 18.31 to go here in the second. And Matt Jensen tried to get to the corner, and defense bumped him over, and he lost the ball off his foot. Rutledge to Thomas inside. Wanted it to Harvey. Harvey couldn't corral it, and it goes out over the baseline. So Great Lakes couldn't capitalize on the takeaway and still trail by... A full 10, ten points. Yeah. Bradford gives it to Travis Raider. Be right now about defense. Bradford drives, puts it up, no good. Strong board from Harvey, and the Lakes have an advantage now. Rutledge driving, three on two. Going to take it himself, puts it up, no good. He'll go to the free throw line. Not poorly defended by Grace. They defended the paint. They dared him to take it to the rack. He did, and he'll go to the line to shoot a couple of free throws. Not a bad decision, really, on Rutledge's part, I don't no. think. Not a terrible decision right there. <coughs> He, one, he had his, his man backtracked. Team first. Was able to get two free throws. And first free throw from Rutledge is no good. Not a good free throw shooting game for Sean Rutledge. Something we haven't said yet this semester. So he gets another free throw. Knocks down the second. That's a mate. Nine point game. This is Raider inside to McKee, and McKeon gets it knocked away, and that's stolen by Dana Thomas now. Jimbo Harvey's one who got the tip Jimbo. on it. Yeah, Jimbo Harvey got the tip on it, fell into the hands of Dana Thomas, now Rutledge with the ball. Look for Great Lakes to set up and get a good shot here. Rutledge gives to Colton in the high post. Inside, Harvey at the free throw line, pumps, tries to drive on McKeon. We have a whistle, and it looks like they're going to get McKeon for a block. And that's... <coughs> Jimbo got McKeon on the, on the balls of his feet. Because he got McKeon on the balls of his feet, he was not going to pass the ball, which is the smart thing to do because McKeon's not able to keep up with him. And it's good to see Jimmy Harvey be able to do that because the goal right now is for Jimmy Harvey to be 100% by the time we play with you. Long inbound to Thomas. Gives it back to Colton for three. No good off the front room. That would have been a big bucket for Great Lakes. In transition now as Bradford almost loses it. Looked like he might have kicked it. This is Raider. 
Gives it to Jensen back to Raider. Inside. Kramer. Inside wants McKeon. And we have a whistle. Oh, they're going to get Harvey for a hold. Foul on 21. Oh, boy. Jimmy Harvey. That's four on Harvey. It's not what Great Lakes wanted at all. And now David Park's going to have to check in. And that was a, it's a tough call for Harvey to get right there. And Harvey got to understand that he has three fouls. He can't keep playing as aggressive as he normally plays. Jackson feeds it inside. Excuse me. Raider feeds it inside to Cameron Kramer, who puts it in. Kramer's got 19 now. And Kramer right there just does a simple hop step and elevates over Vidal Jackson. This is Thomas. Feed inside to Parks. Parks gives it in the corner to Thomas for two. No good off the back rim. McKeon picks up the board. Under pressure, gives it to Matt Jensen, who brings it over the timeline. Long ball into Raider, who goes up. Knocked away by David Parks. He's going to get the block. Ball picked up by Colton. Bringing it up over the timeline. He's running all the way in. Feeds it to Jackson. Goes up, knocks Two it down. Down. Great Jackson. play for Great Lakes. A great transition from block to finish. Where, where did and it's David Parks get the hops? Travis Raider, one of the better leapers in our region, and David Parks just goes up with him and blocks it. McKeon gives it to Jensen. Back outside, back inside to McKeon. Last touch by, I believe, Sean Colton. And now there, Brad there. Rosenzweig will check in, replacing McKeon. There are a lot of things you could have told me before this game. If you told me before this game that David Parks would get a clean block on Travis Raider, I would have not believed you. David Parks leads this team in blocks this season. With 17, now we have another turnover. Ball loose in the in the midcourt. Now it's picked up going the other way is Bradford, who throws it up for Raider, who slams it home. And it's an 11 point game. That was disappointing. On the other end, wow, Two Dana points. Thomas went Dana right in among the Thomas. among the bigs and scored. He's got six now. Lakes cut the lead to nine. That's a good re, re, uh, that's a good answer. Rosenzweig inside. Kramer puts it up, knocks it down. Sean Colton got a bit aggressive on the inbound. He ran into the stands. You've got to be able to get in front of Cameron Kramer. He has 21 right now, 21 and eight. Thomas to Bligar. Bligar back to Colton, pulls up. No good off the front rim, ball hits the ground. Rebound Cameron Kramer coming the other way. Bradford into the corner now. Jensen inside to Rosenzweig, back out to Raider. Bradford, Jensen. Feeds inside to Kramer, backing down, almost got it knocked out of his hands, puts it up, scores. Kramer's just been really hard to stop tonight. 13 point game, biggest lead of the game for Grace, and now John Piercefield wants time. We got a full timeout by the Lakes. Doesn't really shock you, Great Lakes so far in defense. Full the last two possessions look like Great they've Lakes been really. Smart timeout by John, and I mean, this game's a 13 point game. You gotta buckle down on defense, you gotta get good shots and play hard. The Lakes have had opportunities. They've missed some shots in the early going in this half. They've gotten some opportunities and they've scored them. They've done a good job for the most part, but you've got to finish the opportunities that you get inside and you've got to find a way to stop these guys from getting two, three trips on the offensive boards. I mean, that's the biggest thing. But so far this half, the offensive rebound hasn't killed us. I mean, Cameron Kramer is killing us. Cameron, Cameron Kramer. Cameron Kramer had 15 in the 15 first. 15 and a half, he has eight so far in the first four minutes and 50 seconds. I mean, he keeps up that rate. I mean, that's a 24-point half. I mean, obviously, he won't keep up that rate. But you got to do a better job of containing. You have to know who he is. Kramer back out on the floor for Grace, as is Rosenzweig, or as are Rosenzweig, Bradford, B.J. Van Lu. B.J. Van Lu checking in for Travis Rader. And Matt Jensen on Great the floor for the Lakes. Lakes. Colton Five. Parks, Buigar, Thomas. Jackson Bligar in obviously as a defensive presence. And as expected, I expected they would go zone sometime this game, and they have gone with the one. Jackson one. just went right through Fidel. everybody Jackson. and knocked and it down. Fidel just goes right through the middle. Rose or Kramer rather goes up. It's blocked by Parks. We're gonna have a whist, so I think they're gonna get Thomas. Hey. That's gonna be on or, uh, on Thomas. It's second. Follow number. 
because it's a shooting foul that's going to send Cameron Kramer to the free throw line. He's playing well. Bradford checking to the sideline for a conversation with his coach. Kramer on the line, will shoot two, makes the first. And Cameron Kramer has 24 now. Second free throw is good. Make that 25, folks. So Kramer's got a quarter of a century, and the Lakes are down by 13 now. This is Parks. He's thinking about it. He pulls it. Knocks it down! For three. They didn't respect the fact that he was waiting to see if they were going to let him shoot it. David always does that. He gives a little ball fake. If you don't move, he's going to shoot the ball and eventually. Also knocked up into the air, picked up like, oh my goodness, Kramer somehow manages to fall back into the field of play and puts it up and knocks it down. Great look by Kramer. He's got 27 now. And why is Sean Cohen on Cameron Kramer and not Vidal Jackson or David Parks? Thomas. Picks up a screen from Buigar, gives it to Jackson. Parks, wrapping back around, 15 on the shot clock. Gives it to Colton, turnaround jumper. No good off the front rim. Rebound knocked up, picked up by Jensen. Still working the perimeter. This is Kramer all the way across Jensen. Tries to drive all the way across to Bradford. Being worked on by Thomas. Kramer inside of Rosen's wig. He gets it to fall off the back rim. Biggest lead of the game for Grace. They lead at 61-47 with 13 and 35. And that's a no look pass in the second. Cameron Kramer. And as I said, you don't let him shoot. He makes a good pass. This you is got to account for the Cameron Kramer effect because right now that's what's killing you. Thomas gives it to Jackson. Jackson tries to drive, and he's going to be fouled on the way up. I think he was playing for the foul from the first step on that one. Foul on one. Blue. A block. His fourth. Third. So Vidal Jackson will go to the free throw line. Not a terrible free throw shooter. He's got 15 today. First one's good for Jackson. He's got 14. So now Corey Stratton will check in, replacing Danny Buigar. That foul was on Matt Jensen, by the way. So now on the floor, Tommy Bentley has just checked in as well. So it's Bentley, Colton, Jackson, Stratton, and Parks. Vidal Jackson <laughs> shooting about 71% from the line coming in. He knocks down both of those. Helpful to have a big who can shoot from the free throw line. Not really your traditional big, but I get the point. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Kyle right inside this, knocked away by Parks, picked up by Stratton. Stratton feeds ahead to Colton, great feed to Jackson, and the bucket. Parks, Bedell, Jackson. Great transition basket for the Lakes, and it's a 10-point game once again. Bradford Running brings it up. Really well today. Best transition action we've seen for Great Lakes in a long time. All the way across now, this is right. Van Lu wanted to pull on the three, pulls it down instead. Gives it to Kramer, who's working on Bentley. Kramer, no look to Bradford underneath. No good, got it partially blocked, I think. Back out to Kramer. Bradford again. New shot clock, so he'll reset. Sean Colton working on him defensively. Van Lu to Bradford. Right. Lakes in a 2-3, looks like. Inside, Kramer tries to drive the baseline, knocked away by Jackson. That ball bounces out to Bentley. Jackson gets the block, now Bentley on the ball. Feeds it all the way ahead, wants Stratton. He's able to keep it in bounds, loses the ball, coming the other way, now it's Kyle Wright. Wright goes in on Colton, trips no good. We're gonna get a block on Colton. That's gonna be the second on Colton. That'll send Kyle Wright to the free throw line, 6'3", freshman forward. And Corey just not able to handle the pass. Not a bad decision by Tommy Bentley. Corey just not able to handle it, and Sean tries to get back and just doesn't get the benefit of the call. Wright knocks down the first free throw. I believe that's his first point of the night. And Cameron Kramer coming out. Obviously has to be tired. His workload has been tremendous this game. And second free throw for Wright is no good. Uncontested board for Jackson. He has a lot of rebounds tonight. 
Jackson over the timeline. Colton. Parks thought about it from the corner. It feeds it all the way across. Bounces off the hands of Brad Rosenzweig, so the Lakes will keep it down here, 25 on the shot clock. How many rebounds does Vidal Jackson have tonight? Vidal has only five. Wow. It sure I mean, seems like he has a lot more than that. It, it, if he didn't get in foul trouble, he'd definitely have a lot more. Colton pulls up for three. No good off the, off the right side of the rim, but the long rebound bounces out to Bentley. All the way back up to Parks, who pulls NBA three. Oh, yes! David Paul. David Parks from way downtown, and it's an eight-point game. David Parks, when he starts feeling it, we know what happens. He's Corey, Coach Stratton with the great defense. He shot that from the Capitol building. Carly and Jackson down low, turnaround, no good, rebound, and that ball hits the floor, rolls out of bounds. Great Lakes ball. The Lakes are feeling it. And the Piercefield pit's getting loud. 11.25 to go here in the second. Lakes and, down 62-54. And Great Lakes has never actually been out of this game. Nope. They've played very well, played and, hard. And that's what happens when you stay in it. That's what happens when you keep it close. When you get those runs, things and start going your way. Colton almost threw that one into the stands. Jackson able to keep it in. This is Bentley. Steps up. Three. He wants one. He got it! Tommy Bentley, it's a five-point game! Great Lakes making a run! Nine unanswered for the Lakes! Inside picked off by David Parks! Feeds it ahead, Sean Colton goes up, no good, rebound underneath, bouncing around, loose ball, tie up, jump ball, no? It looks like a fumble scrum down there, I don't know what the call is. Not sure how there's not a foul there. I think they're gonna are they gonna call it a jump ball? Is that what it is? I don't know what the call Somehow is. Somehow a Great Lakes Great ends Lakes up with ball. possession. I don't know how. I don't know what just happened. I don't know how that wasn't a jump ball, but Great Lakes will keep possession somehow. I think Piercefield wants a foul. Bentley inbounds to Colton. Back into Bentley. Yes! Two points. Tommy. Eleven Two points. unanswered! Right Eleven unanswered for the Lakes! And it's now a three-point game. Bradford, right. The Lakes right back in this thing. The Pierceville pit is so loud right now. And that's thrown away. Coming the other way. Timeout, Grace. And I think it's a little overdue. We got a 11, Let's go, 11 unanswered points for the Lakes. And it's a three-point game. And Great Lakes just trying to protect their home court. This is the best we've seen this team play all semester. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Everyone playing with heart, playing with energy, not giving up. And Great Lakes is right back in this game, folks. Wow. Stay tuned because at this point it looks like we're going to have a doozy of a finish. I'm looking forward to this one, my friend. I'm looking forward to this one. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Me too. Woo-wee. We gotta catch our breath after that one. I know. This game has moved so fast. Great Lakes was able to get so many transition buckets. Once again, you play a team that has height, you're able to speed the game up and do things. And I am. And so that's good. And hey, Colton, <laughs> we have our first crushed upon listener as Oliver Oakridge is listening to the game. Okay. Three point game, he's excited. Thank you for listening in, Ollie. And I hope you enjoy yourself. Always nice to have friends across the pond. Always nice. Woo wee. All right, everybody settle down. We ready to go again? I think we are. Number five and number two are checked. No, number five is in. Number 42 is out. Bentley, Colton, Parks, Stratton, Jackson. Parks for three in the tie. No good. Rebound off of Vidal Jackson underneath. David Parks wanted to tie this thing. This place would have erupted. No kidding. Bradford. Matt Jensen back to Bradford. Raider. Jared Bradford again. Jensen. This place is really loud right now. Bradford thought about pulling. It gives it to Jensen instead. Three. No good off the front rim. Long rebound. Jensen picks it up, goes inside, and scores. So that ends the run for Great Lakes. And that's just unfortunate, right? The long rebound and goes straight back to him. Stratton tries to drive. He goes all the way in. No good off the glass. Bradford with the board. Coming the other way. Five-point game. Gives it to Jensen. 
inside. Jackson goes up, no good, gets his own board, and the putback is no good, tipped out to Bentley. Bentley brings it forward, Lakes down five, nine and a half to go here in the second. Colton. That rebound was by Vidal Jackson, by the way, tipped yep, out. tipped out to Bentley. Colton goes in, yes, and one, count it! Charged. Are you kidding me? Never mind. Never mind, it's a charge. Wow, that's unfortunate. Ball on 22, Sean Colton. Man, they got me excited. That's a great take by Sean Colton right there. Unfortunately, didn't get the call. You gotta keep working hard, you gotta play defense. Wow, that'd have been something right there. But as it is still a five point game, 9.20 to go here in the second. Matt Jensen, Bradford in the corner. Gives it back to Jensen, inside to Rosenzweig. Back to Bradford for three in the corner. Yes. Yup, he got that one. That's 13 for Bradford, and it's an eight-point game. You can't leave Jared Bradford open. No, you cannot. Colton brings it up. Sean Rutledge about to check into the game. Colton feeds it to Bentley. Pulls for two. No good off the back rim. That rebound uncontested out to Carly and Jackson. And Great Lakes Bradford. right there. Not a good look. Inside, Raider puts it up and scores. And Grace are back up by 10. John Piercefield wants a timeout now. So, a, so Grace answer with a 7 0 run. Out, Great Lakes Christian College. And one of the things that I always say about Grace is they don't get rattled easy. Great Lakes comes out, they cut the game to three. Grace calls a timeout, he calms his players down, they don't get rattled. And they play good defense, and they're able to get things like that. Uh, uh, they respond with a 7 on run at all. Still a whole lot of basketball left to be played, though. 8-41, 10-point game. John Pissfield. Over there trying to rally the troops. Sean Rutledge and Jimmy Harvey checking back into the game. This is a big one right here. Can Jimmy Harvey with four fouls? Oh, no. They took, uh, they put Sam in instead of Jimmy Harvey. Never mind then. We're going to have to wait to answer that question. So Sam Anderson, Vidal Jackson, Sean Rutledge, Sean Colton, David Parks on the floor for Great Lakes. A couple of guys who can put it on the floor and can put it in the hoop. Let's see what they can do here. Lakes down 10, under nine to go here in the second of what's been a really good game here at the Doty Center. Rutledge. Parks. Across to Jackson. Drives, puts it up. Oh yeah. Two points, but damn. Gotta Jackson. like that, Vidal Jackson and knocks it down. that's a great take by Vidal. Eight and a quarter to go, Lakes down eight. Wouldn't you say this is probably Vidal's best game of the semester? So far, and that's saying something. He's played really well. Rosenzweig back to Raider. Jensen into the corner to Bradford. Anderson defending him. Bradford goes in. Gets it blocked by Sam Anderson. That's stolen right back by Travis Raider, and the putback is good. Sam Anderson very nearly had himself some play down there. But the turnover gives Grace a 10-point lead again. The basket after the turnover, rather. Jackson. Working on Raider. Gives it to Rutledge. Tommy Bentley's gonna check back into this one. Driving down the baseline is called, and then we have a whistle and a foul on Matt Jensen. That's gonna be his second. And and now Kevin Kramer's checking back into the game, and hopefully Great Lakes is taking note of this because they need to know where he is on the court. Cameron Kramer's been really, really busy. Number one, fifth, team four. Bentley will inbound this from the baseline. Feeds it into Jackson. Pulls for three. Nails it! Down. Three. Huge bucket from Bedell Jackson. It's a seven-point game. Bedell Jackson, 24 points. Six rebounds, his best game of the semester. And this is what we expected from Bedell when we got him back. This is so good right now. Rosenzweig kicks it out to Jackson. This is Rosenzweig again for three. In and out, no good. The rebound and the putback is good from guess who? Cameron, Cameron Kramer. Kramer. <laughs> yeah. You got to find a way to slow uh, him down. I said he's back in the game, and Jimmy Harvey's going to come in and try to slow Cameron Kramer down. Here we go, man. Seven minutes. We need seven good minutes without a foul out of Jimmy Harvey. Vidal Jackson pulls for three. No good off the front rim. Travis Rader with the ball now. 
Had he made that, oh man, he would have been feeling it. <laughs> Jerry it the Bradford. The room. On the ball again is Bradford. Down low. Kramer turns away, and it's going the other way. What? Okay. Oh, 34 blue. We'll take it. No kidding. I don't even know who it's it was hard. on. Who'd they get him? Who'd they get? Cameron Kramer with the hook. Wow, okay. Jimmy Harvey checking in for Sam Anderson. Here we go. We need six minutes and 36 seconds of Jimmy Harvey right now. No fouls, good defense, intense play like he always gives us. The fact that the Lakes are in it at this point is pretty good, but they want to win this thing. All of us do. Rutledge, that's thrown away. Coming the other way is Carly and Jackson ahead to Bradford, who lays in a, knee, a free basket. An easy basket and a free basket for the Tigers. Rutledge brings it over the timeline. He wants to take this, kicks it out. This is Jackson, and he loses the ball, but we have a foul. Looked like Grace were going to get another takeaway, but instead, Great Lakes will uh, keep possession, and that's going to be on Rosenzweig, his second. Checking into the game for the first time tonight is Quentin Howard. His first team Rutledge team. will have a seat. Howard, Bentley, Colton, Harvey, Jackson. In the 11-point game, and Quentin Howard's into the game, and Jimmy Harvey gets the ball. Harvey gives to Bentley, who pulls on a tough one. No good on the front rim. Coming the other way now. This is Raider all the way across to Bradford. Steps into a three. In and out. Rebound Harvey. That's a big board. Coming the other way now is Bentley. Lakes down 11. Howard tries to step. He's going to go all the way in, and he's going to the free throw line. Quentin Howard, one for three from the line so far this season. Hasn't had many opportunities from the stripe. He gets to prove himself here. As you can, as you can tell, Howard doesn't spend a whole lot of time in the key unless he's driving to the paint. And we got a timeout by, his first by team Gary seven. Bailey. Grace Bible, full timeout. Last foul like was on Karan Jackson, who fouled Quinn Howard, and Quinn Howard will go to the line and shoot two. And as my partner said, 75 to 64, 545 remaining. Stay tuned. It will be a dandy. Here's hoping, right? You want this one to be a dandy. Well, first of all, the Lakes have played a really nice game tonight. They've yes. done some good things. They've what done. do they need to do specifically now, these last six minutes, if they want to win this game? They have to play good defense and get out and run in transition. Grace not able to keep up with them in transition, and that's been the thing that has helped them make runs. So Great Lakes has to get stops and be able to get out in transition, and that is how you come back and win this game. Limit them to one shot. Limit them to one shot. Get out of transition, get some easy buckets, and we'll have a doozy of a finish. Lakes Nation out in full force tonight. The Pierce Field pit is full and quiet as Howard goes to take his free throws. Yes. First one is a make. It's a 10 point game, and if we can make this one, it's single digit. First point of the game for the 5 6 sophomore. Knocks down the second. Nine point game. This is Kramer backing down on Harvey. Goes up, doesn't get it. Rebound bounces out to Howard. Great defense by Harvey, no foul. Howard coming the other way. He's going to spin. He goes in. Kicks it to Bentley, who knocks it off the side of the backboard. Coming the other way is Carly and Jackson. Plays this one ahead. Kramer goes up, knocks it down. That's an unfortunate turn of events for the Lakes. They almost had a bucket down there that would have cut it to seven. Instead, the transition makes That's it an 11-point game for the Tigers. Tommy had a great look and just threw it off the side of the rim. Howard. Bentley struggles to pick that one up. He'll get it back to Howard. Howard hands it to Jackson. Under five to go now. 
Call inside. Jackson goes up and under and knocks it in. And that was a give and go. Sean Coton has 11 assists, by the way. Only two points, but he has 11 assists. That's pretty impressive right there. That's a season high for him. Bradford inside. Kramer being defended by Harvey. And great defense by Harvey. Two trips in a row. Colton now. Feeds it ahead. Almost loses it. Picks it up. He's going to take it all the way in. Gives it to Jackson. He's fouled on the way up by Jackson. Carly and Jackson, that and is, Vidal on the foul. Jackson. Vidal will go to the line. Vidal crashes to the ground. He's going to be helped up by his teammates. He'll go to the free throw line. 4.31 to go. Jackson has put on some kind of on show the tonight. The he hit the ground really hard right there. Teammate. Definitely has to be hurting him, but Vidal's going to get up like a trooper, and he's going to head to the free throw line to shoot these free throws because he knows his team needs them. This has been a really, this has been some game. Here's hoping for a great finish. Jackson on the line to shoot the first of two. That's eight on Grace, by the way, four on Great Lakes, which is a big deal. First free throw is good from Jackson. Checking into the game for Karan Jackson will be Rosen Rosenwick? Yes, Brad Rosenwick will return. And Vidal will get another free throw with the chance to cut this game to seven. The Lakes shooting really well from the free throw line tonight. That's really helped. No good off the back rim. And the rebound is going to be picked up by Rosenzweig. Lakes trail by eight. Four and a half to go here in the second. Hand off to Bradford. Inside. Back out to Bradford. He's going to be guarded by Jackson. Gives it to Wright. Wright. Raider. Raider tries to drive. Feeds it underneath. This is Rosenzweig, wraps it around Howard. Howard stripped him! Howard's coming the other way! Q loses the ball on the way up, last touch by Grace. Great steal by Howard, and the Lakes will have possession. I don't know what Q just tried to do that. He just took it from him. He just couldn't control the ball. Basketball. I mean, he just totally poked the thing out and ch started chasing after. Inbound, Jimmy, yes! Two points for Jimmy Harvey! The Lakes are down by six. Bradford going to get tripped by Colton. That's an easy call to make, and now Bradford's down. I think Howard might have stepped on him. Yeah, Bradford's down. That doesn't look too good. I think, uh, I don't know. I'm not sure. Maybe, I don't know if somebody stepped on him. He definitely got tripped up by, and they're going to get Howard for the foul, actually, and now Q's coming in to check on Jared Bradford. Howard's going to limp off. Bradford's going to lip off, not Howard. Or Bradford, rather. Yes, thank you. Not sure exactly what happened there. He got tripped up by Colton, I think, and I think Howard might have stepped on him. Just unfortunate. And Jared Bradford yep. is a warrior. We saw that last year. He played his last year on a hard ankle, had 25 points. Jared Bradford, as long as he can walk, is going to play. Bradford being defended by Howard. Bradford clearly not happy. And they're going to get Howard. That's two on him in the span of about 10 seconds. Foul on number five, Q. Yeah, Bradford is very clearly upset. And I don't know if the clock even started on that trip. Inbound, now Bradford working on Howard again. Bradford tries to drive, kicks it out. This is Kramer inside to Rosen's, or to Raider rather, who knocks it down. Raider's got seven. Coming the other way, Lake's down eight. Colton going to take it all the way, loses the ball, and we have a... Whistle on Grace on Cameron Kramer, his second. His second, that was his <laughs> Three forty-six to go in the second. Right now, now Cameron Kramer's the guy. We've got to stop Jimmy Harvey doing a better job of defending him. But now because of that, and now because of that, Cameron's going to look to pass the ball. That's what he's going to look to do. He's going to look to take advantage of the passing lanes. So Great Lakes has to be aware of that. Colton on, the, on the line. He'll shoot two. First free throw is no good off the back rim. Colton shoots about 68% from the free throw line on the season. And Great Lakes could really use this next free throw. Second free throw from Colton is good. Lakes trail by a touchdown. Too bad they can't get a touchdown on one play. 
Bradford. And he's going to be he's going to bounce off of Colton and I think they're going to get Colton for the block probably. Considering the way they've called the game, they've gotten more fouls on the defense than on the offense, so they're going to get Colton here. White 22. And Col they're calling it consistently. Four. And the Team unfortunate seven. thing about that foul is that Jared Bradford now gets two free throws. Well, Bradford's still hot. You can tell he's very unhappy. I mean, he's a little guy. He's getting pushed around, expect to get some of those calls. He's not getting them. Three thirty-nine to go here in the second. Great Lakes down 79-72. So Bradford will go to the line to shoot one and one. Makes the first. Sign of a good free throw shooter right there. Uh, just, the, the, got, the, gotta make the ones under duress. Did we expect Jared Bradford to miss that shot? Probably not. I mean, he, he's got ice in his veins. He loves the moment. Second free throw is in. So Bradford makes them both. Loves the moment. Howard spins on Bradford, puts up from the free throw line, in. Oh, boom, wow, good boom, shot boom, from Howard. Howard. Great shot. This is Kyle Wright being defended by Buigar. Wright picks up his dribble, gives this to Raider. Down low, Kramer working on Jackson. Jackson blocks him from behind, but they're gonna get him for a foul. I don't know about that one. I don't know. I don't think they're going to get him for the foul on the block. I think they're going to get him for the initial contact before he went up. Maybe, but what it does mean is that's Vidal Jackson's third foul. Well, with 3.14 to go, hopefully that's not a problem. Cameron Kramer with 31. Kramer has done a lot of work today. First free throw is good. The foul is on 23, Vidal Jackson, his third. So now Luke McKeon will check in replacing Kyle Wright. David Parks checks in replacing Danny Buigar. Three and 14 to go here in the second. And so Cameron Kramer with a, another free throw. I'm not sure what his career high is, but boy, he's playing really well today. Kramer's got a lot of points. That's a lot of points. Colton, Jackson, handoff to Howard to Parks. Lakes working around the perimeter, down nine, all the way across to Jackson, who's gonna drive the lane. Goes up with McKeon here, gonna get McKeon. They're calling it tight down low. Foul on 55. I think McKeon, he simply got the foul there because he had to move over into Vidal's way. He wasn't naturally there. So Vidal Jackson will get two more free throws. So double bonus now. I believe that's a second on Luke McKeon. Jackson on the free throw line shooting two. Yes. Jackson has shot really, really well tonight. He's played really, really well, and he's making the free throws when they count. Defense for offense substitution. That Danny Bluegrass is a better defender than David Parcher. Check back into the game. Second free throw from Jackson. No good off the back rim. Rebound tipped all the way out to Raider. Eight-point game. Raider brings it up. And Howard, oh, Howard just got a body in there just a little bit too much. Great effort to try to get the steal. He almost got it. That's going to be his third. Can't fault him for trying to make that play. Now David Parks will check back into the game, probably replacing Buigar. Defense ball, offense substitution. Yep, Parks. Has a reputation as a big three-point shooter, and he's done well today with those opportunities. Gray one and one for Grace, and Cameron Kramer, I mean, Travis Raider, excuse me, makes the first. Raider has 10 now. Lakes down by nine. 2.53 to go here in the second. Second is, he got, okay, the bank's open. Apparently, he banked it off the backboard and made it. 10-point game. Colton has it now. Colton, Howard, Harvey, Parks, Jackson loses the ball. That's Har uh, Colton who loses the ball, rather. Harvey picks it up, kick out to Colton. Now to Jackson, Lakes will reset. Jackson on the ball. Gives it to Colton. 
Back to Jackson, who's going to try to drive. Kick out Colton. Three from the corner. No good. That was a great look, but rebound by Harvey. Gives it to Colton, who scores. Two points. Big Colton. offensive board there for the Lakes, and it's an eight-point game. And that's what Jimmy Harvey does right there. Raider he brings it energy, up. Energy gets the offensive rebound. He was able to stay, get the ball after Jared Bradford hooked it away. Bradford. And gets the easy look for Sean Cohen. Back to Raider now. Bradford again. Picks up a screen. Thought about putting it up. Down low now. This is McKean working on Harvey. And oh, they're going to get Harvey. That's five. I don't think I like that one. That's going to be five on Jimmy Harvey Jr. I don't know. Harvey, that's his fifth. I don't agree I don't know. with that call. I don't know what Jimmy Harvey did there and what he can do better. That's going to be five on Harvey, so he will have to exit this one. Let him know who called out. You got to let him know. Wait, hey, wait, wait. Ref, ref. McKeon hits the first. And now on comes Sean Colton to replace Quentin Sean Howard. Butler. Or Sean uh, Rutledge, rather, to replace Quentin and Howard. And now Harvey's coming court, off the bench. The court. And now in comes Tommy Bentley Tommy to replace Bentley. to replace Jimmy Harvey. The 205 to go and here Luke in the McKean second. McKean will get his second free throw, and it'll, I mean, if he does, if he makes it, it'll be a 10-point game with 205 to go. Second free throw is good. Jackson will inbound to Rutledge. Rutledge brings it up. Lakes down 10, two to go. Jackson. Working around the perimeter. This is to Rutledge. Colton now. Parks pulls for three. No good off the front rim. Rebound coming the other way now is Raider. Grace with the ball leading by 10. Lakes need a stop here. Bradford working on Rutledge. Bradford kicks it back to Raider. Colton working on Raider, gives it to Brad for 20 to shoot and a whistle and a timeout for Grace. Full timeout for time Grace. Grace Bible College. And I guarantee he's calling the timeout to tell him to watch out for the five second call, be smart with the ball, and don't turn it over and make them follow you. I mean, Give Great Lakes a round of applause today. Played the best team in our region tough on their floor. And it sounds not quite over yet. You got you got 88 seconds. A whole lot can happen in that time Game's span. not quite over, but I'm just saying. No, yeah. I mean, no, no matter what the result, obviously, you got to be really, really pleased with the way Great Lakes have played today. But that's and, not what John Piercefield's telling his guys right now. Right. He's and telling them they can win this thing. Because they're still in this game, and they're going to play hard. A couple of shots and a lucky bounce or two. You never know what can happen. And it doesn't help down the stretch. You keep following Grace Bible College, who we said earlier in the first half, they were a great free throw shooting team. One twenty-eight left in the second, eighty-seven seventy-seven. Rosen's a inbound. Raider in, and that's knocked away by Jackson. Jackson going to get called for over the back. Was unhappy about the call, but that's what they're going to get him for. That's the fourth on Vidal Jackson. Jackson. And I don't know about that one. This fourth, I guess you, you simply call it because Cameron Kramer had position. Sort of like, I mean, I hate to use this analogy, sort of like passing the fence in football. Well, here's the thing. They've been calling it that way on both sides. They've been calling that's it true. very tight in the paint the whole, the whole game. You have no choice but to call that. First free throw from Cameron or from Kramer is good. So no, I'm not I'm not opposed to the call if they're gonna call it consistently on both ends. That's true. Second free throw from Kramer is good. Lakes trail by twelve. Inbound Rutledge. Rutledge brings it up the floor. Parks. Colton. Tries to drive, puts it up, knocks it down. So Colton's got seven now, and timeout is called. No, we have a whistle instead.
Okay, so they're gonna get a delay, delay of game, game warning. warning on Sean Cole. Okay, it's just a it's just a warning, so it doesn't result in any uh, any free throws or anything like that. Parks checks out, Buigard checks in again, and now another timeout is called. This one by Great Lakes. Full timeout. One eleven to go. Ten point game. Out. Great Lakes Christian College. So. Caleb Yuri will check into the game. I'm betting that Grace is going to get some more ball handlers out there. And Caleb Yuri handled the ball pretty well in the first half. So. So defensively, what do you need to do here if you're Great Lakes? You need to get the ball back quickly. How do you do that? You're, you're trying to, you're going to try to get a five second count. You're going to try to see if you can get someone going too fast and come from behind and take the ball. You have to be smart and not overly aggressive because so far being overly aggressive has gotten you a lot of fouls. So you have to pay attention to the fact that being overly aggressive gets you a lot of fouls and pay attention to that and play hard and play well and play fundamental basketball. Got to give a shout out to the Piercefield Pit tonight. They've been really loud and they've been really, really active the whole game. The crowd is rocking. It's great having the support and it's really helpful. 105 to go now, the inbound now. This is Bradford and they're going to get Buigar and Bradford's going to the free throw line. So now Buigar will check out and Parks will return. That's the first on Buigar. Danny Buga has to beat him to the spot right there because he didn't. He got the foul caught, unfortunately. First free throw from Bradford. It's good. That is not entirely surprising. Second free throw is also good from Bradford. Has this Grace missed a free throw in the last three minutes? I'm not sure. Rutledge tries to drive, and we have a whistle again. Another whistle, just so many of them. And now Rutledge will shoot free throws. Foul on 14 blue. His first. Going to be on Jared Bradford. And so Sean Rutledge will go to the line to shoot two. Not the best free throw shooting game today. Let's see if he can correct that. Got the first. And another timeout, this one called by Grace. These last couple of minutes have been nothing but fouls, free throws, and timeouts. Four timeouts. Just working on things and trying to get better and take care of things, and that's what's going on. So <clears throat> look for him to make the adjustments again and just Gage doing a good job of calming, calming his team, making sure they slow down, they're ready for the press, and whatever may be. Great Lakes missing their way right now. And so that's the goal. It becomes a chess match at some point. Well, chess is a great game, my friend. And so with 58 and so seconds. So is this for go, what it's worth. It's an 11 point game. Sean Rutledge getting another free here after. And so it'll be interesting to see who makes the better move here. As we said, the rest of this game will simply be a chess match. Sean Rutledge goes back to the line for another free throw. Second free throw is good. So Rutledge knocks them both down. Lakes down 10, 58.1 to go. Inbound and another foul. So now Caleb Yuri will go to the free throw line. Rutledge thought he almost had a steal there. Foul on 44, wide. That's going to be the second sure on Rutledge. I'm not sure where the foul the was. There was the foul on the body? 
I think the foul, though, was on the body. And so Caleb Yuri, who we don't know much about. Do we have any statistics on Caleb Yuri? I have no idea. Yeah, me either. I have no he idea. He to the line for two free throws. He's seen probably about five, six minutes tonight, but he knocks down the first free throw. And it is something to be said. I'm pretty sure that Grace is like 15 for 15. Well, that's what good teams do. They shoot free throws really well. Tommy Bentley will check in. Danny Bigar will check out. The Lakes haven't shot poorly, but there's a difference between not shooting poorly and shooting really well. And we've seen that tonight. Second free throw is good. Inbound Rutledge. He's going to let it roll. Now he'll pick it up. 57 now. 57 now left on the clock. Rutledge underneath to Colton. Puts it up. Gets it. So Colton's basket gives him nine. Cuts the lead to ten. Lake's putting some pressure on defensively. Inbound to Raider. Gives it to McKean. That's oh, almost stolen by Sean Colton. I thought he had it. Bradford now has it. He's running away from Rutledge. And Rutledge will follow him and put him on the free throw line. That's a third on Rutledge. Follow 44 White. His third. Jared Bradford gets two more free throws. Not shocking. Not the guy who wanted to follow either. I mean, but right now, do you want to follow anyone on Grace is the question. Not really. Bradford's oh, first wow. free throws in and out. Jared Bradford missed the free throw. Second one is good. Push the tempo. Lakes down 11. Rutledge, kick out. Parks, NBA three. N no good. Rebound tipped up in the air, picked up by Kramer. And the clock just went out on one end. On the other end now, it says 30.9. And we have a foul. Bradford will go to the free throw line again, and I think that's just going to do this. Just about, gonna just about do this. Going to just about do it for this one. 30.9 left in the second, 94-83 the score, and I think Grace are going to go on to win this one. Brad Rosenwick will go to the line to shoot two. And makes it. Running out of room on the scorecard over here. Everybody's been scoring tonight. It's been a really good game. It has been a good game, and the Lakes cannot be disappointed. Second free throw is good. The Piercefield pit's still really loud. Now this is Rutledge. Drives, gives it to Jackson, pulls up for three. No good off the back rim. Rebound Kramer, gives it to Bradford. Long ball ahead to Raider, and I think that Grace is just going to run this one out now. We're in the last 17 seconds, and Colton tried to get a steal and said we'll foul, so that'll put Cameron Kramer on the free throw line again. That'll be his fifth. Foul 22, that's his fifth. So that will be five on Sean Colton. He'll one have to point check away from one. a double double. Colton played himself a good game tonight. Had himself a full stat line. Danny Buigar will check in to replace Colton. That scoreboard is uh, is back up on the east side of the building now. For what it's worth, Rosenzweig, or, uh, excuse me, Kramer rather. Knows the first. How many points for Kramer? That's 36. It's a lot of points. Cameron Kramer probably going to be the story of this one. 36 points, a whole lot of rebounds, a whole lot of minutes, and a whole lot of havoc. Oh. Second free throw's no good. Rebound, Buigar. This is Jackson. Ball. Jackson. Kick out Buigar, gonna drive down the baseline. Good feed to Rutledge, who's gonna go up and try to kick it back to Buigar. Bounces it off the face of Cameron Kramer. And the time will run out in this one. Final score, Grace Bible College 97, Great Lakes Christian College 83. No love lost between these two. In a game that took a really long time to finish, Grace Bible College will emerge 14 point victors in this one. All right, Rev. What do we learn about Great Lakes tonight? Well, according to the stat sheet, the key player of the game for Great Lakes, obviously, Vidal Jackson. 
key player the game for Grace was Let me guess. Kramer. Okay. Yeah. No surprise. And so what we learned about this team today, they did a better job of pushing the tempo and getting run outs and upping and upping the tempo. That's something that they have to do because it's important for them as a team to work on and get better at because Great Lakes obviously going to be faster than most teams they play, as we all know. So it's good to see them actually get out and run the transition and get some fast break points and things like that. But uh, Jackson had a really good game. Just small things to, mm -hmm. to work on to get better at. So Grace Bible Farmers will come away with this one, with the win in this one, 97-83. Not a bad, not a bad, not a bad game overall for Great Lakes. No, still not enough defense though. Mm -hmm. it doesn't seem like a lot of teams in our league. A lot of teams in our region, there's a lot of defense. I mean, so it's not something that the NCCAA Midwest League is known for apparently because there's just not a lot of defense today. But to comment on the positives of this game. I think, one of the thing, I think one of the things that we learned is that Great Lakes is going to be able to, Great Lakes will be able to hold their own once we get into the regional tournament. The conference tournament's coming and up in about a month, and month and a half. And as long as they can win in the first round, they'll probably see Grace in the second round. I believe. So there's really no reason why Great Lakes can't. I mean, Great Lakes just played with Grace on the home floor, played them well. It was a good game, had a chance to win the thing. Not a bad, not a bad showing at all for this team. This team. They're still, they're still a piece or two away right now, but those pieces are on the roster right now, and they can develop. David Parks, once he gets his shot down, Nathan Shelton didn't see a whole lot of time tonight, but once he gets his shot down, defensively some guys stepped up, some good things, did some bad Overall, a pretty happy performance for Great Lakes. And these teams should have a pretty happy locker room, and a, despite the loss. Yeah, and the, the, big, the big things to point out, they had about a four-minute drought in the first half. Yep. Jimmy Harvin, Vidal Jackson had to. That doesn't. Those four minutes really hurt you because you're missing height. So Grace had about four minutes where they're able to get second chance points and easy shots, and that was unfortunate for Great Lakes. Small things that you want to get better at, but definitely a lot of progress. A lot of things better than they've done in the last few games, and so let's hope Great Lakes can build on that and only get better in the long run. All right, well, I think that's just gonna that, that's just just about gonna do it for us. Once you get your final score, Grace Bible College 97, Great Lakes Christian College 83. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter at GLCC Sports for live in-game updates for all the games from all the sports here at Great Lakes Christian College. Check us out on our website glcc.edu slash athletics get full game reports there from tonight and all of our previous games watch all of our home games live here on youtube listen to all of our road games and all of our soccer games next fall on meritix.com once again your final score great lakes christian college 83 grace bible college 97 thank you for joining us i'm colton wesley i'm john the crutcher this is the great lakes christian college television network and hey be careful out there